Explorer HCM is a phase three uh, randomized control, placebo controlled trial assessing the efficacy and safety of Mavacamptan in hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy. Mavacamptan is a first in class selective cardiac beta myosin inhibitor, uh, aiming at reducing the state of hyperconductility which characterizes hypertrophic cardiomyopathy and restoring the normal energetic and contractile status. In patients with obstructive hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, symptoms are caused by this hypercontractility causing obstruction itself. Therefore, we enrolled 251 patients with obstructive hypertrophic cardiomyopathy and symptoms related to it, class NYHA class two or greater. Patients were uh, randomized to placebo or Mavacamptan and treated for 30 weeks. There were two titration points. This is a, an oral, oral uh, drug which is uh, uh, pr uh, prescribed once a day. Uh, and at the end of 30 weeks of treatment, patients were uh, studied with, by cardiopulmonary testing, exercise echocardiography, patient reported outcomes, uh, biomarkers, and clinical status. The study was highly successful and showed that a primary endpoint, which is a composite of improvement in peak oxygen consumption and improvement in congestive symptoms, uh, was achieved by 37% of patients in the, in the Mavacampton arm as, as opposed to less than half in the placebo arm. All the secondary endpoints, assessing hemodynamic status, exercise performance, uh, well-being, and exploratory endpoints, including biomarkers, showed a clear benefit of Mavacampton with a highly successful, highly significant p-values in each instance. Uh, importantly, for a first-in-class agent, uh, which is also a negative inotrope, by the way. Uh, the drug was very safe and tolerated well and had a profile similar to placebo in terms of adverse events. The main message that we get from the Explore HCM trial is that targeting the actual mechanisms of disease in genetic cardiomyopathies uh, is highly effective in improving symptoms and restoring normal well-being. Uh, this is the case in patients with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, which again, is again an orphaned condition up to now. It is a highly innovative approach that has shown significant promise and is, is actually, uh, has the potential to become the first approved drug specifically designed for patients with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. I think it's relevant to say that we were recently granted the breakthrough uh, therapy designation status from the FDA, just in recognition of the severity of the disease and the lack of available options for patients with uh, obstructive hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, which by virtue of this drug could in fact be uh, spared from the necessity of undergoing surgery, for example, in the future. And this is something that will be addressed in future studies.